Welcome everybody to today's Tech Talk on Universal GPUs. I'm Bob Moore and I'm really thrilled to be joined today by Josh Grisham. Josh, thanks for being here with us today and uh, describing your new product. It looks really exciting. I'm anxious to hear all about the details of this, Josh. It's great to, uh, great to be here and talk with you about it. You know, in today's world of artificial intelligence and more and more demanding high performance computing requirements and vertical segments that need all those applications, uh, the demand for compute power and the ability to run that type of performance with GPUs has just got to be enormous and growing all the time. What you've done here with this product and maybe in the future with follow-on uh, solutions is the ability to have more of a universal type GPU that allows us to, and our customers in particular, to have the flexibility and modularity that they really desperately need to meet those application demands in their particular environments, right? Yeah, let me explain a little bit uh, about what kind of the idea was behind this and, and sort of the box that we have here. So the idea that we had was to really create kind of an ecosystem of both GPUs as well as processors and to be able to mix and match those to a certain degree in the same platform. So what we have here is our 5U version of the universal GPU. So it's important to note that every a universal GPU server starts out as a 4U. We then have a 1U expansion module that allows you to add two uh, 3.0 AIOM cards from OCP based standards. So that goes on here giving you direct to the uh, processor board uh, connectivity for the networking. So that's an important piece. And it also improves the thermal capacity up to 700 watt GPUs. So this can support 700 watt GPUs air cooled. It's also plumbed for liquid cooling as well. And that's all part of the idea of having it modular uh, and, and future proofed. So we believe this is the most advanced, most modular and most optimized server platform for GPUs on the market right now. So we're pretty excited about it. What you're looking at now is our version with the AMD 7003 series processors and the AMD MI250 Instinct GPUs. So this is available now, it's in the market right now. And we're really excited about it and it's made a real splash in the HPC computing market. It's got 128 uh, gigabytes of the special GPU memory. We're, we're really excited about what it's how it's performing in the marketplace. Uh, and I can talk about our other. That sounds uh, great. I mean, later. it's, uh, but this is the one with the MI250 here. You've got AMD on the back end. You were talking about the modularity as far as the height, but probe, let me probe a little bit mm -hmm. on the modularity with new uh, internal components, uh, technologies that we may be yet getting to in the near future. So you've got tremendous flexibility here, not only in the cooling and the internal capacity and the technologies in there, but also with the ability to swap out. And in the future, we'll be doing some of that, right? You'll have new units coming along soon that will have even more flexibility and uh, other products that we can uh, put inside there. So coming out April 15th, we're going to have the third generation scalable Intel processor, codenamed Ice Lake, and that will uh, fit right in here. You'll have the, a, a similar motherboard. They all have 32 DIMM slots. They all have dual processors. They all have either eight or 10 in the case of the 5U uh, networking cards. Um, if, but one of the exciting things about this is we're going to be able to offer HGX A100 for GPU by NVIDIA, and that's what we have right here. So um, this is really a neat leading in the marketplace GPU. It's available with 40 and 80 gigs of memory. So it's, um, this is something we're really excited about. And we'll be running this with the third generation Intel scalable processors that are codenamed Ice Lake. So that's, um, that'll be available shortly. That's going to be available April 15th. So mm -hmm. I'm excited about that. And then, of course, we've got more a whole, to come probably, right? We've got a lot of uh, other stuff that's sort of embargoed at this point, so sure. I can't really talk about it. But I, what I can say is that we're going to have next generation processors and GPUs. Yeah. So these are all um, using universal baseboard or equivalent to an OAM or SXM in the case of NVIDIA. We're also going to have PCIe available. So this will take 10 uh, PCIe GPUs. Really, Huge capacity there. Yeah. And really amazing. So, a variety of different technologies, all of the major technologies that are offered will be supported in this box. Sounds like Supermicro is really pushing the envelope on all this stuff, modularity, performance, flexibility, and uh, you know, I understand this is made right here in the USA, is that right? So we could walk, it's literally about a seven minute walk over to the manufacturing facility, 
right on our campus. I think Supermicro has been so brilliant in their ability to have that resiliency in the supply chain by having manufacturing right here in the USA. And I know that Supermicro is one of very, very few uh, server manufacturers that can actually uh, do that, make it here in the U.S. And it is so important for some segments, like the federal segment, that mm -hmm. really are quite concerned about security and supply chain security. And if they're mm -hmm. working labs and Department of Energy type uh, applications, mm -hmm. they, they appreciate that uh, ability Supermicro has to make things uh, right here in San Jose. Right, and that's true for both the AMD versions with the MI250 um, and the 7003 series. That was done um, primarily for, it started out in the H, large HPC labs for the government. So we've got a great history there and then we're also going to be able to have the Made in the USA program for all of the other, uh, all the other flavors of this GPU. And we've seen in, in the results of the kind of what's happened over the last two and a half years, people really become interested in that. Now they come to say, oh, you really, you have an SMT lines that I can have a dedicated line to produce this in the United States? That's a big deal, um, if for no other reason for the supply chain issues. So it's, um, it's exciting. And one platform, frankly, that can be used across and transcend multiple market segments, right? So you use this when weather forecasting potentially, in uh, physics, anywhere you're using uh, artificial intelligence or high performance computing, I'm sure it's a perfect fit. So ultimate performance, flexibility, modularity, trading out parts like you talk, mm -hmm. talked about potentially to give our customers the ultimate choice, mm -hmm. frankly, and then adding in, of course, building in our natural security technology and protocols that we uh, do into our super micro products. Right? And balance, too. One of the things um, I might not have mentioned as much as I should, this is, so this supports, um, it's got the eight uh, PCIe network cards and then two of the AIOM cards that go direct to the processor. So it's this real uh, parallelism in terms of the amount of, uh, to GPU, to networking, uh, we're able to have a perfect balance of those so that you're not having bottlenecks. So for every GPU, uh, you should have a, a network card and we're able to support that. Even when we get to the 10 GPU, uh, solution that's going to be PCIe based. This has got to be really phenomenally popular with customers in certain market segments, I would guess. Yeah, exactly. And it's interesting. So there's a there's basically if you can think of the vertical market, there's a specific software stack that's been optimized by by both of the major or all three of the major uh, GPU manufacturers to hit that specific market. So whether it's um, sequencing genomes or whether it's weather, as you mentioned or whether it's physics, atomic uh, measurements, simulations, simulations yeah. you name it, right? heat dissipation, all those different potential vertical markets have dedicated software stacks. And frequently the customers will almost, the customers know more about it than we do in terms of what they want. But the good news is there's solutions for all of those spaces. So we listen to what our customers need and then you've designed a product that meets their needs uniquely, but actually in multiple different market segments because of that need for high performance computing and flexibility modularities. And now you're bringing to market this great <clears throat> capacity to meet those needs. And it looks like it's available now, more to come in the near future. And what would a customer do then if he wants to hear more about it, learn more about it, what's the call to action and how right. does he reach us? So first I would go to my sales person for Supermicro and then also if you've already got a relationship you can come talk to us directly and we'll get you connected with the salespeople. This is a, a yeah, it's an interesting um, a solution in the marketplace and we're seeing a, a huge amount Tremendous of Tremendous amount of interest, I'm sure you are. Well, congratulations, Josh. Job well done and thanks for spending a little time with us today. Thanks, Bob. It was good to talk with you. Appreciate it. Take care. For more information, please visit us at www.supermicro.com.